All right. Well, welcome everyone. My name is Charlie McDermott, and I am here to uh, talk about three quick WordPress SEO website hacks anyone can do to increase, to increase, and also increase uh, your Google rankings. Uh, I'm here today to talk uh, to uh, business owners, marketing directors, uh, anyone who is involved in getting more traffic to your website. But more importantly, you know. It's not about traffic. It really is about getting the right traffic, wouldn't you say? Uh, you know, from an ego standpoint, yeah, it's nice to be able to look at traffic growth. But if your sales aren't increasing, what good is it, right? Uh, so we're going to really hone in on getting the right traffic. Certainly, that's that's what we do in working with our clients. Uh, my goal here today is to provide you three quick hacks uh, that really don't take any technical knowledge. Uh, you didn't get into business uh, um, probably, in, in, and if you, you're you into marketing, you probably didn't get into marketing to become an expert, you know, code master, right? You know, so everything I'm gonna share with you today is, is quick, you know, quick hits, uh, quick results, get the job done and get out and get on with the rest of your life, all right? Uh, so before we do that again, introduce myself for those of you who are just joining us. My name is Charlie McDermott. And I'm a consultant. Uh, our company is DMA, Digital Marketing Agency. Uh, you've probably heard of us. That's probably why you're on here. We uh, do lead uh, the world on the digital marketing side. Uh, but, you know, what I like about our company is we just are here to, to help grow business. Uh, we're consultants uh, at the end of the day. And, and we do everything uh, uh, to work with our clients in a way uh, that, Get some more sales, okay? So we don't get caught up in in the numbers of of uh, you know traffic and and all that gobbledygook stuff. Quite frankly, it just simply is, hey, our sales increasing, okay, great. And then let's connect the, the dots, follow the breadcrumbs to what's causing that increase of sales. And hey, let's do more of it. All right, that's that's SEO uh, and and digital marketing simplified when it's all said and done. Uh, we've been around for a long time, 17 years in this crazy business, and uh, we've grown from a, a local marketing firm in Chicago to now worldwide. 50% of our client base comes uh, from outside of the U.S. Uh, I'm speaking to you from our uh, one of our offices, our corporate office in Naples, Naples, Florida. Great place to visit. Please, uh, if you're in the area, let us know so we can uh, have a cup of coffee. All right, so let's get into our session and I know we talked about, you know, SEO for WordPress, but if you're thinking, well, geez, I don't have a WordPress site or should I have a WordPress site? Everything I'm going to share with you applies to a website. Uh, we, yes, we are going to talk about WordPress sites simply because, uh, one, they're real easy for business owners uh, and certainly uh, marketing teams to work with. You don't have to hire a webmaster uh, with a WordPress site. You can simply... Uh, make changes uh, on the fly and very, very quickly, which is really, quite frankly, what I'm all about. Uh, but there are certainly many, many other websites out there. And certainly if you've got sh you know, uh, shopping carts and all that, there's Shopify and so forth. But we're going to I'm going to use the word WordPress uh, throughout, but know that what we're going to share will apply to your website regardless. All right. Uh, questions that you have, comments, uh, our team is live to answer them. So just place them in the chat box and uh, uh, they'll get you the answers uh, and it will allow me to focus on the task at hand, which is sharing these three hacks. And the first one is speed. All right. Um, now, if you're into SEO, maybe you've heard, you know, more recent data from, uh, you know, what the so-called experts uh, hear from Google, uh, Google is like Coke. I, I, I <laughs> use that uh, reference in that Coke is never going to share their recipe to make Coke, right? It makes no sense. People would you know, knock it off and, and have their own Coke. Uh, you know, it would take away their competitive advantage. And certainly Google isn't going to share their recipe. Uh, so other search engines could you know, not only use that information, but guess what? Uh, there'd be other websites out there that might try to game the system, which is what Google has been trying to, uh, you know, it's why they have algorithm changes on a daily basis, literally uh, to beat those who are trying to game the system and give at the end of the day, their users, people who are searching their customers, the people who are searching for their particular 
once on the internet. All right, so Google is all about the user experience, and that's what you always want to keep in mind when it comes to your website, when it comes to search engine optimization. All right, and even if you don't know how to spell SEO, yuck, yuck, um, it doesn't matter. If you focus on the user experience, you're going to be headed in the right direction. So when it comes to speed, as I said a, a minute or two ago, you know, you may be hearing re reports that speed doesn't matter. Well, maybe it's not as important as it had been, but at the end of the day, it comes back to user experience. And if your website doesn't load fast, guess what's going to happen? All right, that user experience, that individual that's that's waiting for your website to load is going to hit the back button. And where Google stands, that's not a positive user experience. And without a doubt, your rankings will begin to retreat. All right, so we want to make sure that that speed issue is not going to hold your back. All right, so how do we figure out how fast our website is? There are a gazillion tools on the internet. Uh, that will tell you how fast your website is. And I guarantee you, none of them will give you the same score. All right, <laughs> that's about the only thing I can guarantee in life, I think, other than maybe death and taxes. Um, but don't get hung up on, hey, you know, and even, even with some of these tools, because we, we use these tools all the time, we have our own proprietary tools, but at the end of the day, you know, we're looking at a moving target, all right? Uh, depending on your hosting company and all kinds of technical uh, possibilities, your website speed right this moment could be different three seconds from now or five minutes from now or certainly three hours from now. But generally, we want to know, hey, is there anything major that could prevent my visitor on my website from having a positive user experience as defined by Google? Okay. Um, so, what I want you to do is let's go to the source. All right. Uh, let's go to Google and use their page um, speed insights, all right? So you're gonna Google, as you can see in the uh, top there, Google page speed. When you do that, you'll see a, a list similar to the one you see on the screen. And just click on the page speed insights uh, listing, and that'll take you to a page where you can enter your URL, okay, your web address, all right? So just go ahead and enter that in there. If you're following along, you can do it now. Um, and what you will be able to do is analyze, have Google, in essence, analyze your website. It takes a few minutes, um, but enter your, your URL, click the analyze button, and wait a few minutes, and you'll get a score, all right? So just for yucks, I wanted to see how um, <laughs> pristine the Google site is, and you can see there are two scores that you will get. One will be for mobile, one will be for desktop. Uh, we want to focus my, you know, our clients, uh, and, and I don't think you're any different. Uh, the bulk of their traffic is coming from mobile, all right? So if you're wondering where do I begin, uh, you absolutely positively want to start with the mobile side, okay? So we're going to um, focus on that. Uh, and in many cases, what you do for mobile will also translate to improving the speed of your desktop version of your website. Okay, uh, but as you can see for Google, they get a 96 for mobile. What? They're not perfect on mobile and a 100 score for their desktop version. All right, so let's do a real life example here. And um, you know, I was kind of stuck with a, uh, uh, which website should I use, right? Uh, it's like, uh, you know, when we're, we're sitting down to watch TV and, and there's, what, how many, how many cable channels are there now? You know, over 500 and there's Netflix and all kinds of stuff and you just can't find a show, right? It was kind of like that for, for me in, in finding a website. So I, um, I just type, typed in uh, uh, A, B, C and lo and behold, a local, I, I think they're a, um, a wine uh, store in the Naples, Florida area. So they're probably gonna get a lot of traffic <laughs> <laughs> from everyone watching this, but um, uh, so if you're in the Naples area, please, you know, stop by and tell them you found us uh, from because of DM, DMA. Um, anyway, so when we did the analysis of using the Google speed tool for mobile, you can see that that website uh, came up with a score of six. Now, this scale uh, is from zero to 100. Uh, so the good news for this website is they have a lot of room for improvement, all right? We do not want a website that's in that red territory. Um, 
pure, plain, and simple. And regardless of the tool you use, if you're getting a score that's in the red uh, using the Google tool, uh, you, you got to address that, okay? And we will address that in a second here, and I'll share with you how. Uh, because as you can see, below that score, you get some lab data, you get some opportunities, a bunch of technical jargon, all right? Um, probably none of it or very little of it, unless you're really, you know, into this uh, website coding and, and, and technical SEO knowledge business, uh, probably much of that makes zero sense and probably overwhelms you, all right? That's okay, all right? We're gonna fix that. Because you've heard of that 80-20 rule in life, you know, 80% of the results come from 20% of the effort, right? Uh, so uh, that also applies when it comes to website speed and, and fixing things, all right? So in this case, if you look at the opportunities, uh, you can see that if we just fix that one, the preload key request, and, and that's that red section I have highlighted there, all right, as a real life example, um, if we fix just that one, what do you think is gonna happen to their score? you know, they're gonna get a significant uptick, all right? Now, you're probably looking at preload key requests and go, well, awesome, but I have no idea what that is, and quite frankly, nor do I. Um, but it doesn't matter because we can fix that very, very easily, all right? Uh, this website also has a score of 39 for the desktop. So you can see they're really not killing it in either place, um, and from a user experience, it's not very good. And, and I guarantee you that anyone that's looking up this store uh, on their mobile is waiting a long time in internet you know, time uh, for the site to load. And they, I'm sure, get their share of people hitting the back button because, hey, you know, it's an ADD world, right? People, they don't wanna wait. They, they, wanna, they want stuff to happen instantly. So they need to fix that. Uh, so we are uh, going to look then at how do we fix it, right? Forget about all the technical stuff and whether you have one issue you need to resolve or heck, a full page of them, no need to fear, okay? Um, so from a WordPress website, what I love about WordPress is there are a ton of plugins. What's a plugin? A plugin is a, an enhancement. It's like buying a car and, and adding on, uh, you know, all the different features, right? Um, except for when you buy a car and you add all the different features, you have to pay more for those features, right? Um, but when it comes to WordPress, most of the plugins at, at, or add-ons are free. Uh, so it'd be like, why wouldn't we? add these on because especially when it comes to the user experience, there are some pretty cool add-ons or pr pretty cool plugins that can help our site perform better, load faster, okay? So from a free solution standpoint, um, there is a plugin called Auto Optimize, all right? Now, by the way, I'm not recommending, we make no money off, you know, recommending plugins free or paid. Uh, these are just simply resources that we have found to, to benefit uh, and we want to pass them along to you. So ideally, you benefit as well, okay? Uh, so this plugin is 100% free. You can, you know, look up how, if you're not sure how to load a plugin to your website, just simply Google how to load a plugin to a WordPress website, and there's a, a gazillion uh, YouTube videos that will show you how to do it. It'll take you off about 30 seconds. All right, maybe two minutes, okay? Uh, the WordPress website, and for that matter, any website out there, all right, you're seeing the screen, and on the screen you're seeing images, and you're seeing words, and you're seeing colors, right, and all that stuff, and it looks very nice. But behind the scenes of a website, in this case a WordPress website, is what? A bunch of code, a bunch of, it's it's like a foreign language, well, it is, it's a foreign language, right? That you won't, you don't understand, I don't understand, um, but it makes all those images and all those words not only appear on the page, but appear on the page in an organized manner. Now, um, you know, if, let's, let's, let's uh, cross this over to uh, weight loss, right? Um, 
boy, this should be interesting, Charlie. <laughs> so let's say over the years, you put a few pounds on um, and, and you're carrying now 50 extra pounds and you're sluggish, right? You're probably not sleeping well. Uh, you're probably exhausted by lunchtime simply because you're carrying 50 extra pounds around, right? Well, what if we took that 50 pounds off? You'd feel better. You'd sleep better. You probably wouldn't get sick as often. You'd be like, you know, jumping around and, and, and sprinting to the car. God knows what would be happening, right? Um, well, same thing with a website, right? There's a lot of code behind the scenes that, that can be organized in a way, or for, for that matter, not needed, uh, that if you, if you, in essence, put your website and these web pages on that diet, <laughs> guess what happens? The website performs a heck of a lot better, all right? So generally, that's what this plugin um, and these solutions will do for your site, okay? Um, and in addition to that, uh, you can see in the smaller print there, there is, if you if you go with this auto-optimized plugin, I want to get too bogged down in the technical side, just make sure you also add one of those other plugins. Again, they're free, um, which will enhance the performance of the site. All right. Let's move on now to the paid solution. Boo, boo. Um, uh, WP Rocket will also do what we just shared. OK, um, very inexpensive, about 47 thereabouts, I believe, if I remember correctly, uh, $47 for the year for one website. And then, you know, there are multiple website deals and all that. Uh, if that's you, check them out. You can you can learn more. Um, what I would recommend if uh, if the paid solution, maybe you're you're on the fence is go ahead with the free solution. Right. And, uh, you know, install that, allow it to do its thing and then test your site again. Let's see if you saw a significant uptick. All right, maybe you do, maybe you don't. Um, and then you can decide whether you wanna go with the paid solution, all right? But maybe just the free solution brings you from where you are to the green zone, I call it, where your website is, is in the 80, 85, 90 range, and there, thereby you know, hey, I've got an awesome, uh, uh, highly, performing high performance website that is not going to help me from a user experience standpoint. If you're still in that red zone, absolutely positively, and even the yellow zone, which is somewhere in the mid area of the site, still not loading the way it should, uh, move on over to the paid solution. And then again, always test and see where you come in. Uh, I know, I'm pretty sure these guys offer a guarantee. So if, hey, if you don't get the results, you can always get your money back. Um, and I also uh, saw in, in the research that you can use both the auto optimize and the WP rocket um, in, you know, get get the best of both worlds. Uh, now, I say that, but there are many, many, many themes uh, from WordPress and there are themes that don't work with certain plugins. All right. Uh, you will know that when you look into these different auto optimize, you know, WP rocket type plugins. Okay. Um, but for the most part, what I'm recommending works with the vast majority of WordPress sites. Okay. The other paid solution, you know, maybe there's just one issue uh, that's outside of what we've talked about, or, or maybe heck you, you tried both of those and you're still frustrated. Your, your website isn't performing the way it should be. Um, and you don't have access to a, you know, a webmaster SEO company uh, that can help you, what do you do? Well, I'm sure you've probably heard of Fiverr, uh, F-I-V as in Victor, E-R-R.com. Uh, what I like about Fiverr is, you know, you can find talented individuals for one-off projects. Uh, so you'd have the ability to, to share with them your you know, list of website challenges, right? And say, hey, can you fix this? And part two of that is with Fiverr, if you've not used them before, um, they have a very nice vetting system in that these individuals or companies um, are ranked and reviewed and you can just look for the five star players that you know you can trust and get the work done in in, in a matter of days, sometimes hours. Uh, 
you know, knock some things out. And, and uh, hopefully at that point, you're back in the game from a user experience. All right. OK, so hack number two, let's move on. And hack number two is image optimization. And and here is a, a huge opportunity. You know, this is this is one that is right under business owners noses. They have no idea in many, many cases. And I see this time and time again from the clients that we work with. Once they first come on board, you know, one of the first things we do before we even engage with a client, we want to make sure there's a good fit. And certainly they do as well. Uh, so we'll do an audit of their website and, and we'll take a look at their competition, their marketplace. And then at that point, come back with a with a game plan for them that's customized for their roles. Um, but I, I, I very, very rarely do I not see a website error or warning. A warning is a better name for it. Uh, so when we do a, a, a general audit, we'll get a list of things, much like you saw with the Google uh, Speed tool, a list of things that you know could be fixed, let's say, um, to help enhance the website. Well, we do the same thing uh, that goes beyond just the speed uh, issue. We cover certainly speed. Um, and we look at every factor, meh, just about every factor, um, that could be influencing Google's ability to rank your website higher. Okay, so you're just looking at a, just a small snippet here of the more comprehensive uh, audit that we do. And at the bottom, you can see images missing all text. All right, so you, wanna, you want to look at this. You want to see if you have any images that are missing in all text, and I'll tell you why in a second. Now you might be sitting there going, well, how do I even figure that out, right? Well, much like the speed tools on the internet, there are many, many free website audit tools. I'd recommend you just Google free website audit tools, pick one, uh, and then you'll get a report of you know, issues on the website, but look for that images missing all text, okay? If, uh, if you can't find, for some reason, the free website audit tool in WordPress, you can go to your media file where all your images are stored, and you can just click on one of your images and see there is actually a, a slot in the image that where you can put a caption, and, and it tells you what the file name is, but there'll be an alt text uh, slot, and if that's blank, you'll know you're missing the alt text, okay? So what is an alt text? text. And all text is simply called the keyword phrase, all right? The keyword term, the keyword. It allows Google to know what is this image for? How should I index this? Images like your web pages, like videos, are indexable. They are searchable on the internet. And businesses need to take advantage of that because this is your sneaky little way to get on page one and beat the competition, especially if you're competing with, you know, some of the big boys and girls that have major, major marketing budgets. So let me give you an example here. Here's a company, uh, again, I just did a yeah, local search here, uh, hardwood floor repair in Naples, Florida. I have no idea who these guys are uh, other than what I see on the slide here, Bradley Hardwood Floors, all right? As you can see, the website is, you know, no big deal. In fact, it's a bit dated. You know, it looks like a website from a long, long time ago, but that's okay uh, because they are taking advantage of this advantage. Uh, when I search for these guys using that keyword phrase, hardwood floor repair in Naples, Florida, they can't even sniff page one. I mean, they're not even close. It's a competitive uh, industry. Um, and so how are they surviving? How are they succeeding, quite frankly, with a dated website with really very little, if any, SEO? They're not even showing up in the local listings. Well, here's how. Uh, so again, when we when we look at the keyword phrase, hardwood floor repair in Naples, Florida, and instead of the all search in the navigation, if we click on images, 
something really interesting is going to happen. These guys are going to dominate to the point where out of the top six images, they have four of them. Okay. And all four of those images, guess where they take their future clients, right to their website. Okay. So I'm assuming you're doing some SEO work on your website and you're getting traffic to your website because you're, whether it's a local search listings or other listings on page one for important keywords, but dang, there's a huge opportunity here to get traffic from images. Okay. And I would argue that they're even more valuable because especially in a business like this, where you can view before and after, you know, if you're going to hire a, a contractor, a, you know, someone in the crafts business, you're going to want to see their work, right? In fact, that's probably the first thing you want to look at. So very, very uh, smart for this company to focus on the images and, and get a leg up on their competition. You can do the same and it's very, very easy. Just maximize your, uh, your images, your alt tags, okay? Part two of optimizing your images is we want to lighten the load, right? I'm sure you've been on websites where you wait, you know, there's this big white space in the middle of the page or on the right hand side. Uh, you see the text, but it just looks weird. Um, and if you wait long enough, eventually an image shows up. OK, that's a great example of one, a poor user experience. And many people will hit the back button before waiting for that image. Um, and also, it slows down the load speed of the page, which is not what we want, obviously. So what do we do about that? Here's a, uh, it's, this is free, by the way, a, uh, a free website, tinypmg.com, that you can upload your images, and it will crunch them. And, and by the way, like everything I'm sharing with you, there are many other image crunching sites, okay? This isn't the only one, but it's the one uh, we use and, and it, you know, it's, it's one of the highly rated ones, if not the top. Um, but if you can't find it, know that there are plenty of other options out there, but tinypng.com will take your JPEGs, will take your PNG files, basically your image files, you drop them on the page and literally in five seconds, it crunches it down to an image that is significantly reduced in size, um, and looks the same. Okay, so that means you can reload that image onto your website. The image will appear ideally right away or a heck of a lot faster than that old heavy image. And your website will load faster. Your speed will be faster, i.e. at the end of the day, your user experience will be significantly enhanced. Uh, from a plugin standpoint, from a WordPress site, uh, there is the, what is it, Optimal. Uh, you want to check that out. Okay. Again, totally free. You can have it on your website literally in two minutes and working for you to make that user experience much, much better. All right, let's move on to hack number, oops, if I was going the right direction, you would see hack number three. There we go. Hack number three, all about selling the click. You know, it's whether you are investing in an SEO company or you're doing the work yourself or you have someone in house, hey, it's a lot of time and money, right? There is no such thing as free traffic. Um, yeah, we, we know we can pay Google to be on page one via paid ads. And that's certainly for many, many companies, an important part of their marketing plan. But there's no such thing as free traffic. It's earned, right? And it's paid. I mean, you're paying someone to do it or you, or you value your time if you're doing it. Um, you're not doing something else that could drive business, right? Could drive sales into your company. So it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, we want to maximize everything we're doing. And one of the easiest ways is to simply focus on selling the click. Requires no super duper SEO knowledge. It just simply is a matter of testing your headlines or your titles, all right? So back to the hardwood floor repairs companies. Uh, there's three companies, uh, wood floor companies um, in this area that have their Google listings, okay? 
nothing really jumps out at me. They're wood floor companies and, you know, company name for the most part in all three. Um, this isn't a copywriting seminar. You know, we can talk a lot about the descriptions and all that. Uh, but my goal here is to give you quick, easy ways to enhance the clicks, which at the end of the day, by the way, will enhance traffic on your website. All right, so here's something to think about. Let's use the uh, listing number three there. Welcome to Love Floor or Love Wood Flooring in Naples, Florida. All right, let's just say that they are typically in third position um, and the other two companies are pouring money hand over fist into SEO and there's no way that Love Wood Flooring can compete with these guys. They're gonna be stuck in position number three, which by the way, isn't so bad, but hey, you guys know, position one and two are gonna get the bulk of the traffic, all right? Um, so what do we do? Well, here's a great example of focusing on the click, all right? There's a plugin that's called Title Experiments. All right, what Title Experiments allows you to do is test your titles. So Lovewood Flooring could test that Welcome to Lovewood Flooring in Naples, Florida with a different title, okay? Um, maybe that title is Lovewood Flooring slash Free Estimate. I don't know, you know, there, there, there are, a hundred ways from Sunday to come up with headlines. But think about your experience when you're going down the listing, you know, the Google results listings, what do you see? And it's that headline that's gonna grab you first, then the description takes over. So it's headline grabs the eyeballs, right? And if you don't grab the eyeballs, it doesn't matter what your description says, okay? So we wanna make sure that we have the best possible headline to at least be in the game. And then the description ideally sells them on the click. So two really important concepts here, the headline, which you can test, and you should have test get ongoing uh, so that you always have the most optimized headline. And you should give thought to the description. The description, so the and using again Lovewood Flooring as the example, their description is "Welcome to Lovewood Flooring in Naples, Florida, where you discover a huge selection of engineered hardwood, perfect for Florida's humidity." Okay, um, again, this isn't about copywriting. Um, that could be just what they want, or they could do better. All right, um, but whatever your description is, always ask yourself. Does this, what I'm writing here, encourage a click? All right, because it's the clicks that count, the click-through rates that will get you from position three up to position one, assuming that those guys in one and two are dropping the ball, which they probably are in many cases, all right? Um, so back to my example. If the companies in position one and two are spending money hand over fist in SEO work, uh, and you have a limited budget, you're doing some, some stuff uh, and you just can't seem to get higher in the rankings, it could be your click-through rate. Well, how do we fix that? One, we make sure we have the most optimized title or headline, right, by using this plugin. And if you get a better click-through rate, all things being equal, then the first two companies, Google, Again, being all about the user experience, Google will look at that and ideally move you up in the rankings, assuming that once they click on your listing, they don't hit the back button, number one, right? That your site performs in a way that loads up right away and has relevant information. So there's a lot more to that, but baby steps here, all right? Baby steps is, wow, we can test the title and we know that the description is all about selling the click, and then we go from there, okay? So I wanted to keep this within uh, about 30 minutes, and yeah, I'm, I'm within five minutes, so we'll, we'll give Charlie a break. Um, but to summarize, depending on where you joined us, uh, we cover three hacks. Number one, speed. 
which really is about the user experience, right? And you could argue that everything I covered today is about the user experience because that is the name of the game when it comes to SEO, all right? Uh, hack number two, optimizing our images. There are two pieces to that. There's the opportunity that you have to get more traffic, a lot more traffic in many cases, depending on your company, from image search. Part two is the opportunity you have in enhancing the user experience by lightening the load of your images, right? Um, you know, by putting them through the, the either the, uh, oh, the, uh, what was that? Uh, ping, uh, ba, 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 ba. Now, now I'm, I'm uh, there we go, tiny PNG, um, and or using that plugin. And hack number three is optimizing your listing for the click and using that plugin to test your headlines, all right? So, I, again, uh, I'm Charlie McDermott, and uh, I'm here to help. DMA is here to help grow your business. We do that two ways. Uh, you can be a client, we can help you, or you can continue to watch uh, our trainings, all right? Because many of our clients don't start as a client from day one. All right, we help them grow by consulting with them. And over time, they get to a point where they can become a full-time client. All right, so whether you are ready for our services now or years down the road, doesn't matter, we're here to help. If you wanna schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation, go to digitalmarketingagency.com slash schedule. And uh, you'll be able to uh, spend some time. Hey, if you're lucky, you'll get me. If not, there are many other very, very high uh, uh, quality individuals on our team. Uh, we are looking forward to uh, speaking with you. And uh, if you have any questions, again, put them in the chat box now so that we can answer them. And uh, keep an eye out. We will be uh, having another session, another training in the near future. And have an awesome day.